Hello Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn Earth signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out if what you've been manifesting will come true. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 3rd of May, uh, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 9.18 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Will what they have been manifesting come true? back in my room <laughs> they moved me remember um yeah yes eight of swords here and a verse at the bottom of the deck. actually a lot of cards here are really good we've got the sun we've got the fool we've got the judgment six of pentacles six of pentacles was the first card that came out this card for me indicates money um help if for those of you who have been manifesting help support advice or guidance <clears throat> excuse me yes it's gonna come true the sun again is a very very positive energy right we've got the four swords here in reverse yes i think a lot of you have been manifesting trying to make your dreams come true um and hoping for something positive that will come something positive that come that will come into your life which for some of you could be related to money <clears throat> excuse me um related to money um six of pentacles if you want to make more money if you've been trying to manifest money into your life six of pentacles and the sun here it says yes it will come true but i won't say that because six of pentacles six is not ten yeah six is like more than half a little bit more than half so this for me is an indication of how whatever you've been if you've been trying to manifest to make more money you make like half extra half of what you've been making now okay <laughs> or since last month or since last year so yes there will be an increment in your finances if you've been f trying to um, manifest it and we've got the judgment here and the nano swords here in my verse so the swords in my verse indicates you know maybe it's not gonna happen so quickly maybe it's gonna take time it's gonna take some time but also it can indicate you not um it's something something like you cannot rush it that's what i'm seeing it that's what i'm seeing here it's like you cannot rush it you must take your time right and then with the judgment here as long as you make good judgment calls right um and this is also another major kana so that's that's gonna happen because look at these people right they are this is a judgment day so these people are dead were dead <laughs> and then um they were buried so it's judgment call so something that has been buried like something that has happened hasn't come to fruition it will come to fruition and you hear some good news in regards to that right this is a trumpet and a sound so something you're gonna be hearing in regards to your finances or your career which to me is actually good news okay but it may not happen as quickly as you would like to um and another thing i'm seeing here is that virgo taurus capricorn <clears throat> recently actually it was just like two days ago um i didn't film that it's it's um it's on the same day of my latest shorts on my travel channel where i went out it was my day off i was like yay can go out um but anyway there was a somebody because i was sitting on a motorbike and then there was somebody who who came and he didn't have any shoes 
like a homeless person. So he was holding like a cup and asking money from people. Um, so I, I gave him, I gave him some, and and this to me indicates karma as well. To me, when I donate, when I help people, um, it's actually good karma for yourself. So it's good to donate, even if you don't have a lot, just you know whatever you can spare. Um, just donate to homeless people, or you can donate your clothes. You can do some charity. Six of Pentacles is like a charity energy. For those of you, if you've been doing charity, I see you um, actually making more money because that's actually good karma, okay? And I have a lot of friends who are like really rich, but every year they make it a point to visit um, like charity homes. And then they will buy food, clothes, they also donate money, they'll bring all their friends, they go to an orphanage or to like an old folks home. And every year they make more and more money. It's like giving back, right? And that's actually really, really, really good karma. So for some of you, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, if you've been, if you've been doing a lot of charity, I, I do see you're making more money if that's what you've been manifesting uh, because the judgment here also can indicate you know the universe is judging you if you're making all the money right now however much it could be it could be a lot it could be a little whatever it is if you it's like you know i see it like um like what's the point of you being blessed to make more money if you're not gonna share some of it with people who are less fortunate right so there is i feel like there could be some logic behind it <laughs> me being a virgo and earth sign as well trying to make sense out of it so it's almost like if you've been sharing six of pentacles you've been doing charity and also at the same time you've been trying to manifest um making more money um and increasing your finances I think it's going to happen. And the sun here definitely says yes. You know, it's a yes. Whatever you've been trying to manifest, the sun as a major kana, it says yes, it's going to happen. And four swords here is in reverse. Yeah, a lot of you have been actually trying to manifest uh, money, your career. Six of cups here is in reverse. I mean, the king of cups. If you've been trying to manifest love, yes. Because the king of cups is the king of love. And another thing I'm trying to see here is that trying to manifest not doing the same mistakes again in the past or not picking the right kind of people. For those of you, if you because Six of Cups and Reverse can indicate that you don't want to return to how, you know, don't want something from your past to repeat when it comes to love. And you want somebody, if you've been trying to manifest this King of Cups, which is somebody who is emotionally mature, emotionally stable, emotionally available, uh, somebody kind, somebody genuine, somebody has a lot of room to love, to give, love to give, right? That's going to happen as well. Can be any sign, doesn't matter. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Can be any sign, but mainly it looks like it's someone who is just emotionally stable, available, mature, okay? Um, somebody who doesn't just freak out on you or throw the temper tantrum at you <laughs> or, you know, emotionally instability. Somebody who is emotional, emotionally unstable, it will cause a lot of problems in a relationship because, you know, there, there'll be arguments or that they might abuse substances, um, cause a lot of, of disruption in um, a relationship. So I feel like for some of you, if you've been trying to manifest that one person who is like just super steady, super stable emotionally, um, you're going to meet this person, okay? I feel like it's going to, for this one, hmm, it, it, some of you maybe have already met this person, yeah, because sitting in your present uh, position, but if not, this is someone who is coming in, and you just want to be happy with the sun here. For those of you trying to manifest happiness, I just want to be happy. What What is so difficult about that, right? Um I just want a simple life. I just want to be happy. I want somebody to share 
my wealth with, my happiness with, my love with, that is going to happen. And we've got that Aries energy with the Fool. So this person will be an Aries, and then we've got the Tower here in first. Avoiding any Tower moment, avoiding any uh, fight, arguments, drama, or things that ended quickly, uh, abruptly, no hidden surprises. If you try to manifest someone who is who is who they say they are and that there are no hidden hidden surprises, <laughs> you're gonna it's gonna happen. Look at the fool here. You've been trying to manifest also a new life, a new lifestyle. Starting um something it's it's definitely new, Sun and the Fool here. It's going to happen, okay? Um or some of you if you've been trying to manifest getting out of a situation that doesn't you know make you feel so good with the six of cups here in reverse that's gonna happen it's like a release right the fool here so i just want to be released from this difficult situation right now some of you could be related to money some of you could be related to um something legal judgment makes me feel like it could be something legal getting out of a situation where you could feel free and where you can breathe again where you where there is a sense of relief that is going to happen as, as well and fixing things as well with the tower here over so avoiding um damages those of you who've been trying to avoid you know certain damages in your life uh or in your money in, in your career that's going to happen and you know the full can indicate you know just free so some of it's freedom, like financial freedom. Some of it's been uh, trying to manifest um, financial freedom. That's going to happen. And also, it could be travels because the, uh, the full and the sun can indicate that as well. So if you've been trying to manifest like a travel plan, that is going to happen a little bit later. Okay, not so soon, but it's going to happen. Okay. So for each and every one of you, it's different. So timing is not very accurate in tarot. It's quite accurate. It's not like on the spot most of the time. So um, please bear that in mind, okay? So we've got the... That's why I don't really like to give like a specific timing except when I do the within 24 hours. Even that, I will always say that maybe it could happen a little bit later, okay? So we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse, and then we've got the Nine of Cups, and we've got the Five of Wands. Yeah, so the cup right now looks like a medal to me. Five of Wands indicates fights, competition. Those of you who've been trying to manifest um, winning something, it could happen as well. See, again, the sun. This is why I'm not afraid to pull out more cards because the sun indicates whatever you've been trying to manifest, it's going to happen. Like Eight of Swords here in reverse, something about releasing, or if you've been trying to manifest yourself or somebody being released from financial burden, being released from a prison, being released from mental illness, a mental illness or a physical illness, it can be anything. It feels like like getting away from it, removing yourself from it, being released. Some of you, it, it's it's un, it's not under your control. So you could be praying. I just want to be released from this. It could be released from pain. Um, again, or released from prison, uh, mental prison, or anything that is holding you back or making you stay where exactly where you're at it's like stagnancy that you don't actually want to stay so that is going to happen as well so if you want to manifest somebody speaking with you as well with the page of cups apologizing to you after they've said mean things to you or after a separation here uh, that is going to happen you will hear from this person right page of cups right next to judgment here yeah, we've got the King of Swords here in reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse, and the Chariot in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, if you've been trying to manifest uh, people working well with you, um, if you work with people, for those of you Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if you do work with people, like, and the teamwork here, if you want people to trust you, work well with you, being well received, especially if this is like a new environment or if you're going through some drama, at work 
Um, Spirit says, you wanna, if you want to manifest peace, you can. But the judgment here indicates you needing also Six of Pentacles to be fair and to hash things out, and that can happen, all right? Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, my travel channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's on the screen. You can click on it and it takes you straight to my other channel. And yeah, like I mentioned, I posted uh, a new short yesterday. So check check it out if you want to on that channel. Um, what else? Yeah, and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you would like to be notified every time I post your videos and customize it accordingly because I don't want to annoy anybody. I do post very, very often. So the notifications might come up very frequently. So you can customize it, you can mute it or something. All right. Um, yeah, there are options to do so. Anyway, take care, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.